Hello there. I'm going to solve exercise 19107. The exercise is about the mixing temperature of water and ice, specifically how the temperature of 250 milliliters hot water at 85 degrees Celsius will change if we drop an ice cube with a mass of 25 gram and a temperature of minus 18 degrees Celsius in it. To make it easier, I made an overview of the given information. So, Besides the temperatures and the mass of the ice cube, we have the density of liquid water, which gives us its mass. And of course, we have the specific heat capacity of water and ice, and the enthalpy of fusion of water. Here we have the needed formulae. So, we start by calculating the thermal energy needed to heat up the ice cube to zero degrees. To do so, we need the second formula which says that the thermal energy is equal to mass times specific heat capacity multiplied by the temperature difference. And for the 25 gram ice, it's about 0 0.91 kilojoule. Now we calculate the energy needed to melt the ice, for which we use formula number 1 and 5. Since the molar enthalpy of fusion is given, the amount of substance of ice needs to be calculated. And there you go. We multiply the 1.39 mole with the enthalpy of fusion of water. And to melt the ice, about 8.35 kilojoules is needed. Now we move on from ice and focus on water. We need to know how much energy is needed to heat up 250 milliliters of water to 85 degrees. Because that's the amount that it holds. And this is where the energy to heat and melt the ice comes from. Again, we use the second formula. And the answer is about 88.91 kilojoule. So, now that we know that, we can calculate the thermal energy that remains after the ice melts, simply by subtracting the results before from the one we just did, just like that. Just one more thing before we can answer the question. The thermal capacity needs to be calculated by multiplying the total mass with the specific heat capacity of water. Now, finally, the mixing temperature. We divide the remaining thermal energy by the thermal capacity, and we end up with 69.29 degrees Celsius. Well, thank you very much. Bye.